Hi everyone, I just want to talk to you today about what you're going to be doing for the week painting. I'll explain to you all how much time you have to do this. What I want to remind you about is how we learned about layering the paintwork and what parts we do first. It's really important. Okay, so for example, I would go and paint my insides of my letters, the colors first. Remember, we're learning to paint in a neat, controlled way. So if you have a lighter color that's see-through, transparent, you might need to do two or three layers of it. So I would paint this one first, nice and neatly, kind of up to the lines. You don't need to be absolutely perfect going up to the edges because we do the outlines last. So you might do one thin co coat of color and then you might do another second coat of color. Your objective, your aim is to make controlled, flat, smooth paint. We don't want it all wobbly and going outside of the edges. Okay, and we don't want it to be all lumpy. Don't paint it on thickly to cover it. You paint a thin layer, another layer, another layer. So I would go and do my letters first. Then I would go and paint the outside of this. Remember, if you're mixing a colour, you need to mix enough of your colour to paint this outside area, all right, because it's a larger area. Adding white to some colours can make them less see-through. So if you have a yellow that is very see-through, you could add a little bit of white to it. Not a lot, just a little bit, and it will give, the white has a lot of pigment in it, which means that it will make it less see-through, all right? I'd make sure this is all nicely painted then I would paint these if these were red I'd go red 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 paint all my red parts then I'd paint the other ones all right and then last of all I would do the outlines of everything that must be last so you use a very small paintbrush to do the outlines use a medium size for here a medium size or a larger brush for the bigger parts you're doing them neatly we want it to be very neat as possible this is not a rushed assignment this should take you two or three classes to paint so you take your time and you do it really well you use the time that I've given you to, to complete it and you're going to use a very 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 tiny brush to paint your outline edges that might be a size zero don't have too much paint on your brush don't have your brush all covered and paint up to here. Imagine I had paint on here. You're painting neatly like this. Turn it around. I find that it's easier to have my hand on the table. I don't hold my brush up from here. Hold it like a pencil. Don't have too much paint on it so it's a big blob. You want your paint to be, your paintbrush to be nice and pointy. And you turn it around and I find it's easier to drag to the right hand side out like this. Turn your page to suit you. If you're painting these parts, I'll turn them around and I would paint that way. Get more paint, paint this way. All right, don't paint like this. You aren't going to get straight lines by painting like that. You drag it along. Usually if you're right-handed to the right, left-handed to the left. All right, so we're looking for um, control looking for thin layers smooth paint not lumpy not patchy remember when you paint something you must let it dry before you put the second layer of paint on if you have areas that are wet and you put paint on top it wipes off the paint because it hasn't attached to the paper and then it will be patchy so nice thin controlled lines um, that's uh, the style of we're doing right now. All right? Um, talk to you soon. Bye.